Hello everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to episode 9 of my Ultra Hardcore Amplified Let's Play. When we left off, we finally managed to make ourselves an enchanting table and we chucked it down in the tree farm. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we've been stuck in a little rut here. We've been underground for a very long time now. We barely ever seem to go out into the light, and as you can see, it is light, it is also the morning. So... What I am proposing we do, at long freaking last, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do this, is we are going to attempt to make ourselves a house on the surface. So instead of living like a hermit all day, we can go ahead and uh, we can get out of here and play and stuff and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Basically we're going to make a house on the surface, that's basically what's going to happen today. Hopefully anyway, we don't die. Hopefully we don't die. I, we do have one golden apple to regenerate our health with. Right, okay, so, uh, what I am thinking we should do first, though, is I am thinking that we should grab ourselves our axe, okay, and we should chop down all of the trees out there. But before we do that, I just want to quickly show you what I've been doing to the tree farm. It is looking really freaking bad, I know, people. As you can see, we actually have some trees now, and I've added another layer going down. Now, the reason why this is going down is because... Up over there, of course, is a very large lake, so I'm going to need to go down into the depths so we can carry on this tree farm. But as you can see, as well as tree farms, we've got ourselves another little crop farm, we've got torches, we've got little fountains. I mean, just look at this. It, it looks amazing, doesn't it? In fact, I'm going to take a screenshot because it looks so cool. <laughs> One of my more prouder builds is this. Not because it's, like, really too functional. Well, it is, but it also just looks nice. So, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Right, but as I was saying... We are going to be attempting to work on our house today. There we go. Oh, that's going to be so dangerous. If we fall down there, we could potentially die or lose health. I don't want to die or lose health. I don't want to do any of them too. Right. Is there any dudes over there? There was a spider up there. Uh, okay. I guess if we clear out this tree, we can have a little bit of a, uh, a better line of sight. So we can actually see what's going on over there. So, okay. There appears to just be a spider and an enderman over there, actually. I've seen Enderman. Enderman! Oh, man. I hope he doesn't come over here. As long as I don't look at him, <coughs> I should be okay. Oh, my God. Right, okay. We're chopping down all these trees because wood is needed to make a cool-looking house. We're not going to make it entirely out of cobblestone, despite the fact we have absolutely butt-ton of cobblestone. We, we have so much cobblestone, it's ridiculous. We could probably fill a double chest right now with it. Right, okay. There's still no one around here by the looks of it, so we're going to carry on getting more wood. And, uh, well, oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Damn, Jesus. Oh, jeez. I don't know, man. I think I zoned out right there. I actually zoned out, and as a result, I got scared to death right there. Holy moly. Scare of the century. And it's actually raining. Oh, my God. Okay. We don't experience rain very often on here. Like, oh, my God. If he kills me, if he even hurts me. If he touches me, then he will die. Right, okay. God damn. Oh, that was legitimately scary. <laughs> that was probably me just being a big wussy ass, but that was actually quite scary. God damn. Just a random zombie sound, even though I didn't see any over here. God damn, dude. Oh. God, you guys are going to be abusing me in the comments area, I know. You're going to be like, oh my god, what a fag. What a scaredy cat. <laughs> But when you're playing ultra hardcore, you can't help but be scared. Right, okay, here we go. We're going to go down here. I'm pretty sure we've got a shovel inside this chest. Uh, right, there we go. I'm breaking. Oh, not quite efficiency, but it's okay. Oh, God. That is so dangerous. Every single time we jump that jump, there is a possibility of us failing and taking full damage as a result of it, which is something I don't really want to contend with right now. Right. And obviously we've got the rain as well, so if any if there's any zombies or skeletons over there, then they could just come out into the light and they won't get set alive. What the hell? Oh, 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 okay. I think I looked at Enderman by accident. Oh my god. So much scared. So much scared. That doesn't make any sense. That's how scared I am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. Okay, okay. I think, uh... <laughs> we just gotta be a little bit more careful, either. Let's Let's try not to look at Enderman for starters. That'd be a good idea, right? Right, okay. So we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna start flattening out things, like raising this up, basically. 
You raise me up. I better not sing that, otherwise people's ears will bleed. I don't want people's deaths on my hands, so uh, <laughs> I'm just going to stop singing right now. Hey, buddy. Stupid dirt block. How dare you, misplace? How very dare you? Right, okay, so that is now completely sectioned off. Hmm, okay. Right, so how are we going to try and work this thing out? What I'm thinking is we can have, like, the main port... I don't know, man. We could have, like, a ring around house. So if we just have, like, a big sort of square section in the middle here, this could be, like, a courtyard. And then with the courtyard, we could just make, like, a staircase going down into the main house. Because obviously the main entrance is now under here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right, okay. Planning out the builds. Something I love doing. Let me tell you. Right, okay, here we go. Right. It's not something I build all that often, to be honest. Like, ring around houses. Or ring houses. I don't know. I don't know what the hell you want to call it in terms of design. Right. I'm just going to call it a ring around house. So, okay. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So, that means the inside would be three blocks wide. Is that is that enough? That would seem a bit cramped to me. So, one, two, three, four, five. Unless we have, like, the turrets here. So, okay. okay let's, let's, let's just uh, play around with some designs. All right. Here we go. Get some things going. Builder Python is on the way. Indeed. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, skeleton! Skeleton! Skeleton in the daylight! Hi, buddy! Ah, ah, okay. Ah, get destroyed. Oh, he's dead. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we'll have some there. That was a skeleton in the daylight. And, of course, because it's raining, he hasn't taken any bloody damage or anything. Right, there's bones over there. I kind of want to get them. Is there anyone over there? I don't believe there's, a, there's creepers. Can I get that XP? Oh, please don't aggro the creepers. They've done nothing wrong. And they are my brothers, after all. Oh, right, okay. Right. So, as I was saying, this is going to be like a courtyard. We're going to have, like, flowers, maybe a tree or something. I don't know. And then, of course, the actual main entrance to the house. And then, obviously, over here... What we are going to have is we are going to lay down some designs. We're going to get some of the birch wood. Does birch wood work well with this? I think it does. I think it works. I think it's all right, actually. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Let's, let's just do this for the rest of it. There we go. Okay. So, it's actually six by five, not five by five. Um, my OCD is going to kick in. I like five by five because then the tree can go exactly in the middle. Right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it one block shorter. There we go. Unless I'm counting wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Stuff. Right. Now what we want to do is I'm gonna light the crap out of this place. I am not having people coming over and kicking my ass when I haven't done anything wrong. Well, at least strictly speaking, I haven't really done anything wrong. I'm just out here claiming a bit of land, making a house. This rain is so obnoxious. Let me just turn it down real quick. God damn. Here we go. Oh. Don't do that to me, Enderman! God damn it, dude! Scare the absolute bejee- oh! Hi! Oh, the Endermen are teleporting all over the place. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Right, there we go. Okay. So this- Wait, is this still six blocks wide? Did I not even shorten it? What the hell is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong with me? I cannot build to save my life. I really cannot build on camera. I absolutely suck at building on camera. I just can't do it. Which is why for the most part I do my building off camera because it gives me more time and less pressure to get my builds done. Right, now obviously the worst thing that can happen right now is hostile mobs spawn around here. Right, okay. So let's just try and think about this. I'm going to go over here, okay, and we're going to go up. Hello? Anybody want to come and kill me? Doesn't appear to be the case. Right, we are running out of food though, so let's just quickly go ahead and uh, eat some of this. Right, there doesn't appear to be anybody around here, so... I guess we can continue for now. Right, okay, so, one, two, three, four, right, and then we'll do sort of the outside here. So the inside is four blocks wide, so that's a pretty good amount. There's a... Oh, there's a zombie. There's a bunch of zombies over there. Okay, I, I think we can take down zombies with, with ease, to be honest with you. Right. Zombies are probably the easiest mob you could possibly take down. There are a bunch of villager zombies. 
But I can't cure them. I can't cure them. Hi. 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 And hi. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay, there you go. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, they're coming from all over the place. Let's just be careful. Oh, potato! Holy crap! That's actually really useful. Thanks, buddy! We can make a potato farm. And that will give us a bunch of food levels. Food levels? What the hell? Get a bunch of food back. Oh! He ignored the knockback on that hit. He completely ignored the knockback on that hit. He almost hit me. He very, very almost hit me. That would have been bad, because zombies, when they have low health and on hard difficulty, they will do a butt-ton of damage against you. There is a skeleton over there. I think it's getting too dangerous, guys. This is getting very dangerous now. Oh, where are they coming from? Where are they going? There's a skeleton over there. I think it might be time to go inside the house. This is getting, like, incredibly dangerous. There are hostile mobs all over our butts. And they want our butts all over their wall, basically. That's, that's the purpose. Oh, here we go. We're going to go down. Ha 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 Right. Ha ha ha. We didn't do too bad. We got like the bases of things. Oh, we got a potato there. That's amazing. Right, I tell you what, we've got bones. Oh, we've got some more bones in here as well. Holy crap. Alright. So here's what I'm actually going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go down and I'm going to replace the crops that are down here. I'm going to replace them with uh, potatoes because obviously we don't have a potato farm just yet. Right, and obviously the last tree has grown. So that's pretty cool. There we go. Just do a bit of this so we can actually get around. No worries. Okay, here we go. Potatoes for all! I love potatoes in real life and on this game. On this game, they replenish a damn lot of uh, hunger. That's pretty cool. Like, boof, 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 boof. Okay. Just a few more. Okay, no worries. Dang it, dude. Right. Can I get one more? There we go. All right, I can get a couple of potatoes cooked. That's pretty cool, I guess. Right. Boof, boof. Okay, nice. Now, as you can see also, I've actually laid out the basis of an enchanting room. So, of course, if we do manage to get ourselves some bookshelves at any point, then we can just go ahead and chuck them around the edge here, and then we can get high levels, which is pretty damn cool. And then, obviously, I just replaced this with a little sort of mini workstation, if you will. So that is all good right there. But just to remind you of the rules, guys, I cannot craft or sleep in any beds, and I cannot craft armor. I can find armor from dead mobs and in chests, but I just can't uh, craft it. So I, I can enchant it, I can repair it. So obviously that poses a challenge with the XP. So, yes. But uh, I think my building days are over for now. So we've got to find something else to do. Let's just do a bit of maintenance, shall we? We've got a couple of sugar canes right here. Okay, no worries. <laughs> oh, I love not sleeping. Let me tell you. God dang. All right, we need food, actually. Tell you what, we could probably go ahead and do a little bit of breeding. So let's just go in here real quick. Okay, breed, breed, and you two, breed, breed. Thank you, dude. Oh, look at this. We've got four cows, three chickens. <laughs> it's so cool, dude. Right, okay. Right, we've got eggs. We have sugar cane. There's one thing I know I can make right now, and we have pumpkins, and with all of this, turn this into sugar, get the pumpkins here, and then what you can do with this is you can make pumpkin pie, and obviously pumpkin pie is very useful because it replenishes four hunger bars, which is amazing, so yeah, there's obviously something else we need to do at some point in the series, which will most likely be situated inside of the new house upstairs is uh, we need to make a storage room, because we're running out of storage. I mean, look, that, that, that block's chest is completely full. This is starting to get full. This one, actually, that's all right, to be honest with you. I'll tell you what, I'm going to consider the golden uh, apple as valuable, so I'm going to put it in there. Right, okay. Okie mcfreaking dokie. I guess, I don't know, man, I don't really want to start anything else, because it'll probably get too big to handle, and obviously I'll overrun. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to end the episode right here, guys. And I'm probably going to resume when it's daytime and not raining. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and want to see more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, it is time for me to stand in this corner and do nothing until it's daytime. Hi. <laughs> he wants to get me, but he can't. What a dumbass. Right, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you guys next time.